Hello, welcome to episode 170 of Pray As You Go with YDN. We are praying today on the on what I call His Everlasting Covenant. His Everlasting Covenant. And I'm going to read um, three scriptures. One is from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 26. Ezekiel 37, 26. And that says, I read the Passion Translation. It says, I will make my eternal covenant of peace with them. I will resettle them and I will bless them and multiply them. I will establish my sanctuary among them forever. I will establish my sanctuary among them forever. Then the second um, is the book of Isaiah, book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. And we read from the NIV version. It says, but Israel will be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation, everlasting salvation. You will never be put to shame or disgrace for ages everlasting. You will never be put to shame or disgrace to ages everlasting. And then finally, we go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 and we read verse 3 from the <coughs> NIV version as well. And the Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have loved you with an everlasting love. When God does good to us, he intends the good to last forever. Severally in the Bible, he's promised to give us an eternal or everlasting covenant of peace. He's loved us with an everlasting love. He's saved us with everlasting salvation. His covenant of mercy upon us is age to age, everlasting and forever. So we want to thank the Lord. Let's, let us pray. Let us thank the Lord because his love for us is everlasting. His grace upon us is everlasting. His mercy upon us is everlasting. Let us thank him because whatever God does, God does, he does it forever. Let us thank him because he has loved us with an everlasting love. Thank him because what he does, no man can reverse. Thank him because he means good for us and not evil. Thank him because his plans and purpose over us, they shall be fulfilled forever. No one can deny it. No one can reverse it in Jesus' name. We're going to pray again. Uh, we're going to say to God, have mercy upon me. Where I have compared you with, where I have compared your gifts with man's gift. Where I have compared your ways with man's ways. Man can give us a temporary help, but your help is forever. Man can love us temporarily, conditionally, but yours is an unconditional love. Father Lord, therefore, wherever I have deemed your love as conditional, where I have seen myself as earning your love, Father, have mercy upon me. Father, have mercy upon me. Father, have mercy upon me in Jesus' name. We're going to pray and say to the Lord, Lord, you have promised to have an everlasting covenant of peace with me. My Lord, my God, Jehovah, Father, let your everlasting covenant of peace be upon every area of my life. Everlasting covenant of peace be made manifest in every area of my life, in my family, in my finances, peace, in my home, peace, in my children's life, peace. In, in, in my work, in my career, peace. In my business and my ministry, peace. Let the Lord's everlasting covenant of peace begin to reign in my life. In Jesus' name. You're going to pray again and say, Lord, you have promised to love me with an everlasting love. Let that everlasting love, unconditional love, let it begin to make, make be made manifest in my life, in my home, in my career, my business, my ministry, my children's life, my family, in the name of Jesus, your everlasting love, your everlasting love, your everlasting love, in the name of Jesus. Father, you have promised us, <clears throat> you have promised us, that you will show us you have a covenant of eternal and everlasting salvation for us. Father, I pray for every member of my family that has not been saved, every member of my family that are yet to be truly saved, let your everlasting covenant of salvation begin to be made manifest over me, over every member of my family, covenant of salvation. 
covenant of eternal salvation, covenant of eternal salvation, covenant of eternal salvation, covenant of eternal salvation in the name of Jesus. And then you're going to pray again and say, Lord Jesus, let your covenant of mercy from age to age begin to rest upon my life in the name of Jesus. Covenant of mercy, let it rest upon my life. Covenant of mercy from, from, from eternity to eternity. Covenant of mercy from age to age, from stage to stage, begin to rest upon my life in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Father, we honor you. We glorify your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father and our Lord, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to pray, for the opportunity to acknowledge you as our everlasting God. Father, you are from age to age, you remain the same. You are faithful through all generations. You have promised to, to give us a covenant of peace forevermore. You have promised to give us your covenant of salvation forevermore. You have promised to give us your, to love us with an everlasting love. You have promised your covenant of mercy to rest and remain upon us all the days of our lives. Father, we activate all this in the name of Jesus. We activate all this in the name of Jesus. For everyone who, who is praying along with me right now, I pray, Lord, that you visit their homes, their families, their businesses, careers, ministry with your everlasting love, with your everlasting salvation, with your everlasting peace, with your everlasting joy in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, they, they will never know a better yesterday in the name of Jesus. You will take us from glory to glory, from grace to grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for praying along with me. Prayers you go with YDN um, again this week. As we are getting to the towards the end of the week um, of the month, please be reassured. God is working on your behalf. He has promised you an everlasting covenant of peace, of joy, of, sal of salvation, and He will bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. He doesn't. He doesn't forget. He doesn't abandon. He doesn't neglect. He doesn't get go um, get missing in action. He does what he says he would do, and he would have your. He would manifest that covenant of peace upon your life in the name of Jesus. Till I come your way again next week, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, do something to let me know that you're here. May God bless you richly. May his covenant of peace be upon you. May his covenant of love be upon you from age to age and from generation to generation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom.